Hello, everybody. Welcome to my lectures. Today, I am going to talk about a physics question about rotations. This is a question. I have a body rotating in a circular path. The mass of the body is 100 gram. And the speed of this body is 6 meter per second. Six meters per second. I have another two bodies of the same mass, 100 gram, on the same string. two more bodies, so altogether three bodies, each one is 100 gram. The distance between the bodies are all one meter. The bodies are one meter apart. So what is the question? The question is, what are the tensions in the three sections of the string? What is the tension here? What is the tension here? And what is the tension here? First of all, uh, I want to uh, make a statement that the speed of the body of rotation is proportional, is, okay, I will say, is related to the radius of the circular path. The, the speed is distance divided by time. If the body rotates n rotations per minute, then in one minute, the path, which means the circumference of the circle, uh, circular path, the circumference, uh, the body moves n times the circumference, uh, in one minute. For example, it's, uh, suppose the time is one minute. So, the distance is 2, two pi r times If the body rotates n rotations per minute, then during the n rotations, the distance moved is 2 pi r times n. And the time is 60 seconds, so you divide by 60, then this is the speed.
I just use the letter V to represent the speed with the understanding that uh, it is only the magnitude. Okay. Therefore, you see that the speed is proportional to radius, provided n is a constant number. Now, the 6 meter per second, the speed of the outermost body is at the radius of 3 meters. So first of all, I want to find the speed of the other two bodies. I can call the three masses M1, M2, M3. And the velocity is 6 meter per second, I can call it V3. Because the velocity is proportional to radius, I can write v3 over 3, this 3 is a 3 meter, equals v2 over 2, equals v1 over, v, uh, over 1. Then v3 is given, it's 6. So I have So I have 6 over 3 equals v2 over 2 equals v1 over 1. So from this relation, I can find v2 and v1. It is not difficult to find V2 and V1. So V2 is 4. V1 is 2. 4 meters per second and also 2 meters per second. Once we know this, then we can go ahead to find the tensions in the three sections of the string. To find the tension, tension is a force. So I need force equals ma. But remember, this is a circular motion. Therefore, the force is centripetal force. Centripetal force is a mass times centripetal, centripetal acceleration. The formula for centripetal acceleration is acceleration equals V square over R. The acceleration of body 3, oh, sorry, this should be mass 3.
the acceleration of body 3 is V3 divided by R and is Six square divided by three, and this is for body three. V3 is 6, R is 3, so put in the values, the answer is 12 meter per second square. That's the acceleration. Then what is T1? Uh, okay, let's use T1 then. Well, let's just go ahead. Because I was thinking maybe I should use T3 because it's body 3. But it actually doesn't matter very much. So T1 is M3 A3. M is 100 gram. 100 gram we, uh, we need to convert to kilogram. So it's 0 0.1 kilogram. 0 0.1. Mass is 0 0.1. Acceleration is 12. Then the force is 1.2 Newton. This force is uh, tension in the string. For mass, for mass 2, For mass 2, I have two forces, T1 and T2, acting on M2. So I have the net force, the acceleration is 4. The net force is T2 minus T1. The net force is equal to mass times acceleration. Acceleration is V squared over R. And V is 4. V2 is 4. 4 squared over R is 8. So the net force is 0 0.8. But I want to find T2, therefore T2 is T2 is 0 0.8 plus T1, but T1 is 1.2. So, so T2 is 2 Newton. 
Then the next is to find T3. This is for the mass T1, similar to what we have done. Net force is T3 minus T2. Net force is T3 minus T2 equals mass times acceleration. The mass is 0 0.1 kilogram, the acceleration is here, uh, v squared over r, v is 2, so it's 2 square over 1, r is 1. Mass is 0 0.1, acceleration is V square over R, V is 2, so I have 4, therefore the net force is 0 0.4. I want to find T3, so T3 is T3 is 0 0.4 plus T2. T2, we already have it. T2 is 2 Newton. Therefore, the sum, T2 and 0 0.4, is 2.4 newtons. So we have found all the three tensions. T1 is 1.2 newton, T2 is 2 newton, and T3 is 2.4 newtons. So this is the answer. That's the uh, end of this circular motion question. Thank you for watching this uh, video and I'll see you next lesson. Bye.